Okay, you guys, I want to talk to you about pumping the Crossman 1377 here and about how that pumping it over 10 times doesn't really help a whole lot for energy and velocity. Although you can pump it more than 10 times, it's true, you can do that. Um, usually, uh, Crossman protects themselves and they only say pump it 10 times when actually you could probably even pump it more. Um, that's because of warranties and different things like that. So they protect themselves. So they're always going to tell you to pump it less um, so that they can protect them valves and stuff like that from blowing out. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you this chart here. If you look over here, it says pumps. So I got one through 10 pumps here. And then I've got uh, the chronometer averages here for one pump going all the way to 10. You can see it starts at. 215 feet per second and goes up to 525. And what I want you to focus on here is uh, this Crossman destroyer pellet here. You'll notice that the first three pumps, there's a lot of gain. Two, it goes from 215 all the way up to 353. So that's over 100 gain right there. But then notice pump number eight to 10. Notice how there isn't a lot of gain up here in this area. Now I'm just talking about a stock 1377. I'm not talking about uh, guys that modify them. And uh, you know, there's little tricks you can do to them and stuff like that. I'm just talking about somebody that buys one and they're keeping it stock, but they're pumping it too much. And uh, even though you can pump it more than what the manufacturer says, the point is, is that once you pump over 10, you're not really gaining a whole lot. And that's the point I want to make. So I've had this uh, 1377. I think my first one was probably around 1983, 1984, maybe somewhere around there. Or later when it first came out, I had one. So I've been around this pistol for a very long time. Um, I know a lot about the mods and different things you can do to it, although I'm not really deep into it. There's some guys that uh, are deeper into it than, than I am. Uh, I've got machine shop experience, but so do a lot of other guys, and they're able to make uh, muzzle brake and custom parts for the 1377. And that's why it's liked so much, because it's so customizable, and there's so many parts floating around on the Internet, but also you can get them from Crossman, too. But the point I wanted to make, guys, today is, uh, you know, show you a little bit of wisdom about this uh, 1377 here. If you look one more time here, pumps 1 to 3, you gain a lot. But pumps uh, 8 to 10, there isn't really a whole lot of gain. So you might as well just stop at 10 pumps. If you look here from 519 to 525, the gain is just getting lower and lower. It's getting to a point where you're going to pump extra times wear out your arm, and the velocity really isn't going to go up that much more. And the trajectory isn't going to shoot any flatter either because even the difference between 519 and 525 isn't a whole lot. So, But anyway, I just thought I'd put that out there for you guys uh, so you understand how this uh, factory 1377 works with the pump and, and how that, uh, you know, you don't have to pump it 10 times. You could probably just go 8 if you want. You want to save your arm but uh yeah if you want to go 10 go for it but like i said you go any higher than that you're really not getting anywhere with this pistol so thanks for watching you guys